hear me? Can you hear me now? I pulled over so that I can get the volume straight. Let me know if you can hear me. You can hear me now? Okay, that's good. I'm good. All right, perfect. I'm glad y'all said something because I was about to hit the highway. <laughs> I'd have been gone. Like, no, there's no volume. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, no, 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 no. So, see, now I got to go back. No, I was just saying uh, peace and love to everyone. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is um, staying in prayer, being productive, prosperous, and organized. Um, because that's one of the key elements to success is to stay organized. To stay organized. Um, definitely want to stay organized. Um, I was saying that I know that this is the new year for a lot of you all individuals in terms of your planning. Um, you know, so yeah, we gotta, we gotta, you know, gotta get some things in order um, to make sure that we can try to get our bearings within the first quarter of 2023. Um, because you know, really what you do in the first three months of your new year is going to sort of set the trend for the entire year, whether you believe it or not. You know, it, it sets a trend. Y'all, uh, it's, it's wet and it's rainy out here. It's wet. Hold on. Make sure my thing is not. It's wet. It's rainy. Um, here in Charlotte today. It's been raining all day. It don't look like it's going to be stopping no time soon. I don't think it's going to be stopping no time soon. Um, the good news is that it's 60 degrees right now, so um, it's not that cold rain. And there's you, um, The thing about Charlotte is that we get a lot of ice um, when it rains and the temperature drops. So the good news today is that it's not cold. It's about 60 degrees right now. About 60 degrees. Um, but this is rainy and it's wet. So, yeah, so hopefully it'll dry up soon. But yeah, so like I was saying, I just wanted to hop on and love on you all for just a, just a little bit just get on here and have a conversation with y'all for just a little bit <laughs> just a just a little bit just a little bit i'm trying to do better in terms of um going live so here i am going live y'all i've been studying hard um over the past however long um i picked up the intensity with my studies um over the last six months and so you will um, have the opportunity to benefit from that in the private banking courses that's going to be coming up starting actually in just a, a couple of weeks the the first is it's a four-part series um, four-part private banking series um, that's going to be starting on the 21st I believe it's a Saturday I can't remember um, now for the for the for the private banking course what's going to end up happening is anytime that i'm hopping on and doing a live training you all are going to have to sign um agreements you're going to have to sign agreements um and it is it's going to be a trust agreement um because uh what happens is, is when you enter into the call you officially enter into a uh another jurisdiction um, in terms of, of the information that's going to be taught. So for those individuals that have signed up to be on this call, um, I'm going to try to get the trust agreements out to you all by next week so that you can go ahead and get those signed digitally and sent back to me. Um, you know, because we, we have to, you know, 
study to be quiet. We have to be quiet. A lot of the information that is on these calls are, or that are a lot, the, well, all of the information that is going to be offered up on the private calls is just for the individuals that are attending those private calls. It's not meant for anybody else. It's not meant for anybody else. I know that, you know, we want to go out, we want to share information with people. Um, but in the coming months, the coming days, in the coming months, especially in 2023, we have to be especially um, discerning in terms of who we talk to, who we share information with. Because I'm telling y'all, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we got to know who's around us. Even the people that's in our household is going to get to that point. It's going to get to that point. <laughs> where you're gonna have to know who is in your household, those family members that are close to you. Just because that's your family, I'm, you know, some days I'll be like, I don't care you my blood, it, it, because it, 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 it doesn't matter. Yes, we wanna protect our family. Yes, we want our families to know, but the enemy works through the people that are closest to us. So, you know, it's not that you don't want them to know. You just have to do things that you need to do to protect yourself. You know, so, um, you know, me and my husband, we, we talk about this all the time. Me and my mom, we talk about this all the time. You got to know who you're dealing with, even family. Because when things really, really change in this system, and you have family members around you that are being faced with having to make difficult decisions in terms of their livelihood, where they live, the food that they eat every single day. And if they have to make a decision um, for someone that they live with that is in opposition of what the powers at B wants you to do, they will dine you out all day every day because it's going to get to a point it's going to get to a life or death type situation that's the only way that i could put it i mean can't put it no other type of way because i know what's coming i know what's coming it will get to that situation it will i'm telling y'all it will it will it will i want y'all to remember this day and remember the words that i speak it will get to that situation so, you know, it's, it's time for us to, to develop that deeper connection with the spirit because the spirit gonna tell you, like I was saying on one of the other videos I did, you know, the spirit gonna tell you who's who and the spirit gonna tell you how to move in your skin when those difficult times come. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? You know, so I'm here to just be the messenger you know, however you all take and digest the information is up to you. I'm just being obedient and sharing the information that I'm being told to share. So, yeah, but the private banking call is going to be fire. It's going to be fire. Um, and, you know, think, when you think about private banking, just think about in terms of, you know, your estate. That's, that's all I can say. All of the little things that people are trying to do with their estates and all this stuff that people are trying to do with their trust, but they're doing it publicly. But we're gonna talk about what goes on on the private side, you know, the invisible stuff that's there that you don't see. You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff there that you just don't see. You just don't see. So I'm excited about that class that's gonna be coming up. Um, and like I said, it's a four part series, it starts on January 21st and it goes through March something first week of March, I think. Um, and you know that 50% off coupon still floating around. It's going to be up online till Friday. No, sat, sat, Saturday. Saturday the 7th. Yep, Saturday the 7th is the last day to get the 50% off coupon. So you all take advantage of that. Um, just take advantage of, of it. Take advantage of it. Um, now, for those of you that are doing, or for those of you that are going to start a process, 
whether it be Truth and Lending, um, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, or the Fair Credit Reporting Act, I want you all to go back and read the first part of the code specifically related to the congressional findings and statement of purpose. Congressional findings and statement of purpose. That's why I titled this video Congressional Findings. Um, that first, the first paragraph of each of those codes really says a lot. It really says a lot because the thing in the and this is what I was, um, I was saying in the private Facebook group. I had went live in a private Facebook group. Um, what's today? I think was it yesterday? I can't y'all. But listen. <laughs> When I tell you I don't be paying attention to these days, because first of all, this calendar is like not even the real calendar, right? So by me being at home all the time and I just be working and you know, putt putting around the house, I really do be forgetting like what day it is. I, like seriously. But um right, so when you go back and you look at the congressional findings and statement of purpose for these codes, you're you you wanna know what information was out there in the atmosphere that Congress found because they found something. They found something. Abusive um, debt collection practices, misuse of information, people's privacy being violated. There is a reason why these laws were written in the first place. Congress found something, right? And then the statement of purpose, I think it either says declaration of purpose or statement of purpose. I can't remember the exact um, terminology right now, but it's giving you what they found and the reason for them writing the law, because I, I, I need us to just go back to the fundamentals of things sometimes. And I feel as though if we go back to the fundamentals, it's going to give us more information. Sometimes you gotta go back and read information that you've already read with a new set of eyes because i know a lot of you have read it i'm hoping that a lot of you have read the laws that you're trying to use but sometimes you just got to go back and you will get a revelation or a new understanding of the material that you're reading that's what happens when you read the bible it's the same thing so you just want to be able to go back and read and be like man that's what it's saying i'm telling you the words will jump off the pages to you and speak to you. <laughs> it will speak to you. It'll speak to you. The word will speak to you in a different way every single time that you go back and read it. You know, and I promise you'll get to a point where you start knowing this stuff by heart. You'll you'll know exactly where to go. Man, listen, I found something that I just uploaded into the credit repair course. Um uh yesterday. they just be speeding up you saw me trying to get over um i just look up i just uploaded something into the credit report the credit repair course yesterday um it's the oh man and when i tell you this thing is fire so it's the it's like a cheat sheet it's a cheat sheet for the fair debt collection practices act so it's a whole list of codes it has all, it has the whole list of codes for the FDCPA, and then it gives the corresponding violation. It gives the corresponding violation. Boom, right there. So when you're writing up your letters or you're trying to figure out how you were violated, like when you're looking at your contracts and you're trying to figure out, okay, well, I know I was violated, but I don't know how that cheat sheet is going to help you because you can literally look at the code and then say, okay, well, this is what the code is saying. And this is going to be apparent to you exactly how you were violated. Especially when you're dealing with debt collectors. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to park. I'm on my way to go pick up um, to go pick up some new glasses. I got some new glasses. So I'm right across the street from the place now. I just got off the highway. So I'm going to park and I'm going to see what y'all got going on. I'm going there and pick up my glasses. Then I got to go somewhere else. So yeah, so it's a cheat sheet. And it gives you everything that you need and this is just for the fdcpa something that i had that i forgot i like what happens sometimes like when i when i've been doing these courses and i start going back as y'all when i tell y'all i got information 
I got so much information. I got old zip drives like in my safe that got mad stuff on it. So when I go back and I start pulling some of that stuff out and a lot of the stuff is still relevant, it's still applicable. Like today, even though I've had certain stuff for years on them, when I start going back into my archives and I find certain stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, this is good. I forgot about this. Let me put that in there. That's what happens with these courses. I, I go back in and I continuously add stuff in. Just like with the business credit course, I I just went in and added back a whole bunch of stuff in there. Because, you know, you want the stuff to be up to date. The, the, the information got to be up to date. You want it to be up to date, right? But the principles are still the same. It's the, the principles are still the same. You know, and I wanted to make sure that everybody had enough information to do what it is that they have to do. Um, but, yeah. And that's what happens when you go back and revisit information. You're like, man, I forgot about this. Ooh, that's so good. Let me put this in there. Or when you go back and reread information, you'd be like, ooh, that's so good. I'm telling you because you have a brand new understanding. You can read something five times, take a break from it for five months and go back, read it again, and, be, and it'll give you something different. That's how the word is, though. It'll give you something different. No matter how many times you read it, you get something new. Every time, every time you go back and reread something that you already thought you knew always always keep your learning cap on be a student of life go back and reread information that you've read before i promise you you're going to have a new revelation something new is going to be revealed to you it happens all the time and see part of the issue is that we um you know humans <laughs> we think we know stuff and so when we think we know a certain amount of information, we sort of close ourselves off. Um, you know, we sort of close ourselves off to learn new things, you know, and, and that's not the way that our mind is intended to work. You have to update the software of the mind. And I've said this multiple times, um, you know, just like you, update the software on your phone like when you when the manufacturer sends you an update and you got to upgrade your phone and if you don't upgrade your phone your phone gonna start doing all acting all retarded and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and you sitting up here like well why is my phone doing this because you didn't upgrade the software you didn't upgrade the software so your phone acting crazy your computer going real slow your computer is boggled down it's going real slow it's taking forever to open up a screen when you type something it takes forever for the the text to pop up your brain is the same way your brain is the same way it's the exact same way how where do you think how do you think what do you think they got the idea to invent the computer is modeled after the human brain i'm telling y'all it works the exact same way it works the exact same way so we have to be constantly upgrading the software of the mind of the brain we have to deprogram to reprogram deprogram old outdated information and reprogram it with new information so that we can continue to um, be proficient and work in an optimal, uh, you know, an optimal manner in terms of our life. We want to be as efficient as possible, and we cannot do that if we're constantly operating off of old, outdated information. All because we think we know, we close ourselves off to learn new information. So when you go back and read the laws, go back and read them again. Your understanding would have changed. You matured. You've matured since you last read the law. You've matured some. And so because you've matured, it's, it's the same thing with kids. It's the same thing with children. Let me tell you, if you have children, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you have um, teenage children or adult children. It's certain things that you will tell your child their whole life. And they they it's like they hear you, but they don't hear you. And they don't listen to you. And you, you tell them the same thing. They act like you don't have no life experiences at all, right? They, they act like you don't know nothing. <laughs> so when you tell them stuff, they're like, yeah, you know, Ma, I hear you, you know, all that stuff. And they just sort of brush it off. They just brush it off. And they don't get the revelation until they get older because they now have a mature mind so that they can see they're matured. 
So they're going back to the information that you taught them as a child and looking at it with a whole new set of eyes. You understand what I'm saying? Now they see. And now they come back to you and be like, Mom, man, everything you said was true. Da, 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 da. And then they give you this whole story about how everything you said was true. <laughs> so sometimes as adults, even though we have age and maturity, we still have to go back and revisit certain information as if we were a baby. You get what I'm saying? As an infant, so that we can receive, because you know, it's easier for children to learn things because of their mind is still developing. So they absorb everything like a sponge. Sometimes we have to go back to that infant like state when we approach topics that we've already visited so that we can remove or not necessarily remove, but we have to build. <laughs> We have to build on what it is that we previously know. So some stuff, you know, you want to definitely get rid of all of the lies that we've been taught our whole life from the system, right? Because that stuff, it, it, it's, not, it's not doing you no good. All of the conditioning and all of the, you know, indoctrination and stuff like that, that type of stuff, we got to take that, put it behind a closed door and throw away the key. Just lock it up. Just lock it up. The, you know just lock it up throw away the key but some information that's still relevant you just want to continue to build on that information now remind now remember the mind is like a your subconscious is a is like a database right years and years and years and years and years we store all of this information in the database of the mind right but it's in the subconscious it's in the subconscious so what will happen is is as we're learning new things the mind, the subconscious mind will recall, will, will pull certain information outside of the database to make it match up with the new information that we learning, right? And then you're like, oh man. And so then you start connecting the dots. You start connecting the dots. You're like, man, and you get new revelations, you're learning. I'm telling y'all it's deep. So we, we, we want to always be feeding the mind with good, positive information um and and just build on those previous topics that we you know that we've previously learned because you know some stuff that we learned in school was good information a very small percentage of it and the beauty of it is that it's still stored in the subconscious mind so as an adult there are certain things that's going to come to your remembrance it's going to bring it you know going to be brought to your remembrance and it's almost like you get your second win it's like you feel refreshed, you know, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. You know, the, the, the human mind um, is, is a beautiful thing, but that subconscious database, you want to build up the, the uh, gigabytes, <laughs> quote unquote, you want to build up the gigabytes in your subconscious database. And the thing of the matter is, we cannot do that if we're sitting around playing video games, we're watching TV and doing all this stuff where we're not feeding the mind. All we're doing is wasting time. All we're doing is wasting time. The movies that we watch in our house, because we don't watch TV. We, we don't watch TV. We don't have TVs in our bedrooms. None of that. We got three TVs in the house. The living room downstairs, the guest room, and the office. Because I connect my um, I have a desktop computer. I got two computers in the office, right? And so the desktop computer, I connected to the TV so that I can watch educational videos on the bigger screen while I'm working on my laptop doing something else, right? So we don't have TVs in our bedrooms. None of the kids have TVs in their bedrooms. We got a TV in the guest room, you know, for the guests because they like to watch TV. But we don't watch a lot of TV. We don't just turn on the TV and just click to a station and just sit there and watch it like a zombie. We don't have time for that. We just don't. And if we do turn on a movie, it's probably a documentary. Or it's something about like the Matrix or something like, man, you see they, because you know a lot of the stuff, oh my goodness y'all, woo! A lot of the stuff that they put in these TV shows, they presented to you as fiction but it's nonfiction. It's real stuff based on real life events, right? It's real life. It's real life, like real life, real life events. I was just having a conversation with my son um, yesterday, actually. 
I posted something on my Twitter. I want y'all to go to my Twitter and look at what I posted on my Twitter yesterday. Tamara T. Bush on Twitter. Go to my Twitter so that you can see what I posted yesterday. It's certain stuff that I will post on Twitter. Like the different platforms is different, right? Thank you for the super chat, Mike. I thought I saw another one. Thank you, Mike. Are you okay? Let me let me. I'm so sorry. Let me. I'm just sitting up here talking. Let me go back and look at these comments and see what y'all got in here. Mike says, Thanks to you, I've been more motivated to pursue my rights and justification, not to mention your faith in using new set of eyes when reading the Bible and other laws and reg regulations. Yeah. Yep, my family all about that. After work, they just sit and watch TV. The kids on the same program, shaking my head, got mad at me when I tried to let them know. I'm telling you, that's what I'm telling you. Come through. I'm telling you, that's 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 what we're that's the type of energy that we're dealing with right now. Um, and it's been that way for years. People, that's why it's called TV programming. People are hypnotized by the tube. They're hypnotized you know um people in my family sit there and watch crime shows all day like that type of stuff and i'm like what, what, what why are you watching this all this violence and just i don't know it's it's i i can't do it i can't do it i remember a long time ago i made a decision to stop watching scary movies this was decades ago i was like why am i watching this why am i watching this exactly Man, and when you read scripture and you read these codes, you know where they get their principles from. You know where they get those their principles from. You know where they get their, their principles from. You know, it's it's that's why I'm saying we we gotta be very um aware of what we feed our mind because it's going to influence our it's going to influence our decisions it's going to influence our decision making abilities you know um we got to be very discerning very discerning so i was having a conversation with my son yesterday um because there was a video that i watched that went deep into the book of enoch Oh, y'all, when I tell you this video was so good. Oh, man, it was so good. It was only like an hour. It was a real quick video, too, an hour. Some Somebody um, in my private network sent it to me, and I watched it. I was like, oh, this is so good. So if any of you are familiar with the Book of Enoch, you know that this movie was good because it goes into um, the origin of the white race. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I'm saying it. So... It's a portion of the video where the scientist was talking about the research that he did on the DNA and the Neanderthal gene, okay? Now, I know there may be some non-melanated people that come and watch the replay of this, but y'all need to know y'all history and know where y'all come from because I think that that's part of the reason why there are certain energies right now between melanated and non-melanated people is because we don't know where we come from well, I know where I come from now. Now I know. But a lot of non-melanated people, y'all don't know where y'all come from. So y'all struggle with identity issues. And so I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm literally saying it based on what I've been reading and researching. There's everybody trying to, because there, there are so many lies that the system has told us. So many lies, y'all. It's a lot of lies. It's a lot. It's lies on top of lies on top of lies on top of lies. The lies go all the way up to the heavens that's how many lies we've been told you know um so yeah so this um the scientist was doing a presentation about the research of the gene and so you know the video goes back and forth between the scientist and then this this melanated woman um speaking about the fallen angels right y'all deep yes exactly see Lakel, yeah, exactly. Yes, we know. We know. Um, and so she said something, and my son looked at me and he was like, Did she just say fallen angels? I said, Yeah, she did. She just said fallen angels. And 
because he heard he caught it he caught it he caught it he caught it and so he was like looking at me like wait a minute what fallen angels like wait wait, wait, wait what is going on here you know he was curious and i and i started going online and i started pulling up pictures of archaeologists um throughout the world that have found skeletons of giants so y'all know the book of eden i talk about them giants right and he was just looking at me like what i mean you talking about skulls these skulls were <laughs> humongous these skeletons were humongous and he just was like is this real and i'm like yes i said i'm telling you they put things to us in the movies and give it to us like a sci-fi fiction all of that stuff I said, but a lot of this stuff is real. I said, there's a reason why they took the book of Enoch out of the Bible. There's a reason why a lot of the books of the Bible were not in the final version of the, of the Bible, you know? And so you got to go back and read that stuff to really know and understand, okay, what happened back then and what's going on today, you know? And it also matters for you to know history because a lot of people don't look at the Bible as history. And I'm like, how could you not look at it as history? Like it's, it's history. They messed up and, and and distorted like geographical locations like all this stuff it's, it's just it's crazy it's crazy yeah we are israelites says look up if, look up the forgotten books of eden most of the books are there very far i sure i will i sure will do that i will do that the forgotten books of eden mm -hmm. i sure will i sure will thank you for that yeah, so I say all that to say, you know, you know, that we really just have to open up our minds and and be in a constant state of receiving. Don't dismiss anything at first glance. If there's something that you don't understand, take it and put it on the bookshelf so that you can refer back to it later. Don't completely discount something just because it is is something different than what you were taught your whole life. Or what you learn in school school no all the real learning takes place outside of school most individuals know that but don't you know just just be just be ready to receive and be receptive because you don't know when the most high is going to send you people or information that's going to be to your benefit and it could come at a time where you least expect it you get what i'm saying the most high knows he knows what he's doing and so if you if you open yourself up and you surrender to being used by him he's going to you know start the process and start sending people your way sending information your way and it's going to you know when you when you're when you hear something it may be something that you do not completely understand but because you don't understand it don't dismiss it because you don't understand it just take it and put a pen in it or put it on the shelf of your mind so that you can refer back to it later that's important don't dismiss it don't dismiss it don't dismiss it because you will eventually get the understanding that you need and we have to ask the most high to give us understanding every single day every single day every day so yeah y'all that's i just wanted to hop on and just and just you know you know give a word real quick and just have conversation with y'all because sometimes you know, a lot of people out here that are teaching, there's no, you, you want to have balance in terms of how you interact with the people. You know, you don't always want to just be business, 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 business. People, I understand that people need to be poured into in different ways. Yes, the information is good. Yes, the consumer law stuff is good, but sometimes you just, you know, sometimes just have a conversation. People are looking for something to connect to, you know. I know I am, and I've already accepted my assignment, you know. So, 
me see. Why won't it let me get back to the chat? One Maccabees. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, peace and blessings to you all. But yep, so I'm not going to keep you. I just wanted to hop on real quick. I'm about to run in here and go get my glasses. Um, then I got to run a few more errands. And then um, I'm going to be away from the house for a minute. Then I'm going to be heading back to the house. But y'all, stay prayed up. Stay up. Stay diligent. Stay consistent. Keep your learning cap on. Be ready to receive. Um, and just be a vessel. That's all I can say. So peace and love to y'all. Um, I love y'all so much. Thank you for taking the time out to join this live. Definitely like, share, and if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> peace.